Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and I'm here to bring you another build guide. And in this build guide, I'm gonna be doing a $300 budget build focused on giving you playable performance now and an upgrade path to follow for years of usability. So without further ado, let's get right into the build. First up for the CPU, I chose the Intel Celeron G1840. Now before you go claim that this is a horrible CPU, go check out our good friend Oztox Hardware's video using the CPU in the eye in the top right corner. This CPU can handle most games at 1080p and with reasonable frame rates when paired with a solid GPU. Also a huge benefit of this CPU is the fact that it's on the Haswell platform, giving you the ability to upgrade to an i5 or i7 processor when you want to take your PC to the next level. As for the motherboard, I found the Gigabyte GA-H81M-H motherboard. This board is a micro ATX board and it supports our CPU. It is lacking some extra functionality, but for a build at this price, it's hard to ignore a motherboard for just $32. Just keep in mind, this board won't be able to overclock any future i5s or i7s you may throw into it, which is no big deal if you don't plan to overclock, but it's just something to keep in mind. As for memory, I went with one 8GB DIMM of PNY Anarchy RAM. I had to opt for just one DIMM RAM because the motherboard only has two memory slots. This gives us the ability to upgrade down the line to another 8GB DIMM if you want to add more memory. However, 8GB is still more than enough for gaming, so it will do the job for this build at only $25. As for storage, I went with a Western Digital 1TB hard drive for $48. This drive will work for holding your OS and games that you want to play. For most people, 1TB is plenty and because of the budget I could not fit an SSD, but I definitely recommend that you add that somewhere down the line or if you can afford the extra 40 bucks now, throw one into the build. As for the graphics card, I went with the NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti. This card comes in at a very budget price tag of $95 and will get you a lot of performance for the price. This card does not require any external power and performs very well at 1080p medium settings in most titles. For a $300 build, this is the best you can do at the time of making this video. As for the case, I chose the Rosewell SRM-01 Micro ATX case. This case is ugly, let's not deny it, but for a $300 build, it's the best buy you can get for only $20. If you have a case already from an old PC, you can cut this entirely out of the budget and just use that one, but for 20 bucks, this case can house all your parts nice and snug and will do a good job for this build. Lastly, for the power supply, I chose the EVGA 430 watt 80 plus certified unit. We have used this power supply many times in the builds we have done on the channel and it's been a very reliable unit. At $30, it's a great buy with a good brand name like EVGA and has plenty of wattage for our system. Overall, this build comes out to be a total of $279.29 without rebates and $289.28 after rebates. This gives you enough room to pick up windows from a site like Kingwin for $20 and keep around the $300 budget. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below. If you dislike this video, feel free to leave a dislike and comment what you think I can do to improve these videos. If you want to hit that subscribe button and follow all our content, go right ahead. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.